but the recovery may take some time to gather momentum. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell delivered a word of warning Wednesday as parts of the U.S. economy begin to reopen. Don't expect a quick economic rebound. Though the Federal Reserve has taken unprecedented steps to limit the fallout from the economic crisis brought on by the coronavirus pandemic, Powell said it is likely the recovery will be slower than hoped, leading to an extended period of weak growth. The record shows that deeper and longer recessions can leave behind lasting damage to the productive capacity of the economy. Avoidable household and business insolvencies can weigh on growth for years to come. The loss of thousands of small and medium-sized businesses across the country would destroy the life's work and family legacy of many businesses and community leaders and limit the strength of the recovery when it comes. The result could be an extended period of low productivity growth and stagnant incomes. But Powell wasn't all doom and gloom, saying in the webcast the recovery will eventually come and pledged the Fed would continue to do all it can to make sure that happens. That, however, will not include a push in interest rates to below zero. President Trump has repeatedly urged for so-called negative interest rates. The committee's view on uh, on negative rates really has has not changed. Uh, this is not something that we're that we're looking at. We chose not to implement negative rates uh, during the global financial crisis and the recovery, and instead we relied, as you pointed out, on board guidance and asset purchases. Asset purchases when we were when we were at the near the zero bound, and we've said that we intend to continue relying on those tools, which uh, are tried and and uh, they are now a part of our toolkit. But Powell warned that more stimulus is needed, and for that. He took the rare step of calling out the White House and Congress, urging the two to step up with more fiscal spending.